Welcome to Old Soldier's Ride. We're just a couple of retired guys who like to ride motorcycles and take long ass trips. We are not moto vloggers or YouTube content creators. We just want to document our trips and share them with friends and family. If you found your way to this video, we hope you enjoy what we have to share. And if you like it, please hit the like and subscribe button. You're not going to hear a lot of dialogue. The camera work and editing are both going to be shaky. We hope to get better. However, we're not professionals and we don't pretend to be. This series of videos are about a trip we took in August of 2022, ostensibly following Route 66 to California and back to mid-Michigan, where we both live. This trip comes after my retirement in July of this year and is something Bill and I have been planning for several years. We call this trip Bill and Terry's most excellent adventure, and it was most excellent. Epic, even. Now, Bill rides a 2012 Victory Cross Country Tour and I'm on my 2019 Indian Chieftain Dark Horse. Prior to this trip, our longest trip was about 2,800 miles when we rode the Natchez Trace in October of 19. For this trip, Bill is pulling a trailer, something neither one of us have done on previous trips. Our first day was a relatively short day for us, about 372 miles, and started when I left home at 7.30 a.m. to head out to pick up Bill, who lives a half hour away. The plan was to head out from the middle of the Mitten to Joliet, Illinois, where we'd pick up Route 66 there. We chose not to start in downtown Chicago in order to avoid the traffic and hassles of being in downtown Chi-Town. 6.30 in the morning. Forty-eight degrees. Supposed to get up to seventy-five today. It's gonna be sunny, so it'll be nice. It's gonna be a chilly ride out to Edmore though. Got some last minute packing to do. So we'll get that taken care of and be on the road by seven thirty. Bye, sweetheart. Love ya.
everlasting summer you can see it fading fast So you grab a piece of something that you think is gonna last Well you wouldn't even know a diamond if you held it in your hand The things you think are precious I can't understand Are you reeling in the years? Stowing away the time Are you gathering up the tears? Have you had enough of mine? Are you reeling in the years? Stowing away the time Are you gathering up the tears? Have you had enough of mine? You've been telling me you're a genius since you were 17 And all the time I've known you I still don't know what you mean The weekend at the college didn't turn out like you planned The things that pass for knowledge I can't understand Are you reeling in the years? Stowing away the time Are you gathering up the tears? Have you had enough of mine? Are you reeling in the years? Stowing away the time Are you gathering up the tears? Have you had enough of mine? Okay, so our first uh, rest stop, 30 miles or so on the highway, just wanted to get a shakedown, especially since this is the first time Bill's ever towed a trailer for any length of time, see how it was doing, check everything out, make sure everything's still tight, just north of Grand Rapids. back on the road here in just a minute.
So it's about one o'clock in the afternoon. We've been on the road for close to six hours. We're hungry, we're tired. We're looking forward to grabbing something at the launching pad, which is the home of the Gemini Giant on Route 66. And we get there and find out the place is closed. So we take our obligatory pictures and videos and pose with the Giant. Just plan on heading down the road to the next Route 66 restaurant. However, as you'll see in a photo coming up here, there's a large Eagle Riders group with a bunch of German, Italian, and Swiss riders on Harleys who are planning on doing the same thing. So we wound up riding for a while before we finally got lunch.
Okay, we finally found one that was open and not filled. Old Family Restaurant, Route 66. Chicken fried steak, here we come. Illinois about to see where the gentleman who drew all these iconic murals drew the maps the bus that he lived in when he was doing all that work quaint little town and the next time somebody in Michigan tells me how bad the roads are in the state of Michigan I'm going to tell them to kiss my ass they need to get down here to Illinois and see some really bad roads
we got a chance to ride from Joliet, Illinois on Route 66. Even though the day wasn't the uh, sunniest starting out, it wound up being a nice afternoon. We made several U-turns because Route 66 isn't always the easiest to follow. But uh, we made really good time. Um, instead of stopping in Springfield, we decided to push on to Litchfield, Illinois about another 60, 70 miles. It's about uh, 70 miles from uh, St. Louis, Missouri. The next day's target was going to be Springfield, Illinois. Out of correction, Springfield, Missouri. And I think we probably would get farther than that. One thing we found is that uh, Route 66 isn't exactly what you think it is when you see everything on the internet. A lot of places it doesn't exist. And in a lot of places it's just not worth riding. But hey. We're having a great time. We're riding. This is the first day, and uh, we'll see you all tomorrow.